Um, at this time, we'd like to offer uh, an opportunity for Donnie Ness to come up and have a few words. Look at all of you in this room, and that speaks to uh, our community that on a beautiful Friday evening uh, in the summertime in Duluth that so many of you have come here to spend some time to talk about the importance of, the, of this issue and to talk about solutions. And that's what today is about. It's about creating and striving for equity by thinking creatively and coming up uh, with solutions. I've often used the, the analogy, think about education and especially the differences of, between kids and the difference of experiences that kids have. And you look out on a day like today, it's a beautiful sunshiny day, you say, today would be a great day to go out and take a bike ride. And different, depending on where you're riding, but if it's a windy day, it can change your experience. So some people are riding along and they have the wind at their back. And they don't even know that they have the wind at their back. And they're just saying, boy, I'm really fast, I can really go on this bike. And other kids, other people are, are riding into the wind. If you're ever riding a bike into the wind, you know how difficult that is. And that's all you can think about is the wind coming at you. And that's the difference between the experience of a lot of kids going through school. Is for some kids, they have the wind on their back and they don't even know it. It could be because of their, their parents are in a position. They have an income. You know, they have high income. Their parents are supportive. Other kids, they have the wind right in their face. And it could be because of the color of their skin. It could be because of their family situation. It could be any number of things, but all they can think about when they're riding their bike into the wind is that wind coming at them. And if we aren't deliberate about giving them tools, giving them direction, giving them a little support from time to time, and maybe turning that bike and say, all right, let's go with the wind for a little bit. And that's what we can do in this community is give some of these kids that know nothing but the wind coming at their face, give them a little push in, from behind and, and give them that, that wind at their back. So I think that is uh, the challenge before us tonight, coming up with solutions and having the goal of racial equity in the city of Duluth. Thank you all so much for being here. And thank you for, for dedicating time to this important talk.